to Tamara's Lunchbox. I'm back. I know. Did you miss me? <laughs> Probably, I think the last time we played, what, Tuesday? It's been almost a week. But, you know, sometimes you just got to put the phone down. You know? Completely unwind. Completely get away from everything. But it was, t it was nice to spend time with the kids. I was home with them and... It was their last full week of summer vacation and just some one-on-one -on -one time. So that's what we did. But but I'm back today, back at work. So let's see what we've got today. Of course, I got my damn napkin and my Andy's mints. There they are. And oh, and I got a joke for y'all. I got a joke, I got a joke. Okay. <laughs> what did the drummer call his twin daughters? What did the drummer call his twin daughters? You ready? <laughs> and a one and a two. <laughs> last night and it was oh I couldn't quit laughing it was so funny so funny and then I got another one okay how does the hamburger introduce his wife how does the hamburger introduce his wife he says meet Patty <laughs> <laughs> If you're not laughing like I am, then you'll get that one on the way home. How about that? <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the lunchbox. Okay. So if I break out into laughter, you'll know that's what's still going. <laughs> Woo. Okay, let's see. I had to go downstairs and warm it up. I have chicken noodles. Um... Saw that on TikTok. A Voltage Mountain Dew. Uh, we scrolling through TikTok last week. Well, the week before, technically, because I bought the stuff. No, no, it was last week. Yeah, last week, because it's this week. Anyway, scrolling through TikTok, come across this recipe, and I was like, I need to make that. That looks good. And I got a side salad. I mean, some tomatoes in there, and some cheese, some lettuce, carrots, cabbage. I think that's what else comes in. And, of course, ranch. And, of course, some croutons from my salad. I didn't feel like uh, putting them in a Ziploc bag. Well, actually, what happened, to be honest, I forgot. And then this morning, I was like, I need croutons from my salad. And as you can imagine, I was running a little behind. Being my first day back, not too bad, but just I felt off schedule. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to put some dressing on that. Let that start soaking in while I eat my noodles. So anyway, back to these noodles. So... And what I'll probably do, because I, I plan on making this again, so I'll do a video, but I didn't do one yesterday. I was just trying to follow the recipe. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, or so please don't take it that way. But when you give a recipe, what is so hard about telling the amount of ingredients? How long you cook it in the oven. So it was a little hard to follow. I had to watch it a lot of times just to try and get it. But I will do a video on it so it'll be a little bit more clear. But it's those egg noodles, which if that will focus, I think it's going to. I will try that trick. No, it's not going to focus. Okay. It's those 
egg yolk noodles is what they call them, rotisserie chicken, a cream of chicken soup can, a cup of milk, salt and pepper, and shredded cheese is what is the, the main part. Then you crush up plain potato chips on top and bake it. And there's one of those noodles. I wish it would focus. There it goes. Maybe. No. What if I get back? Ah! Okay. It's not going to. Anyway, that's what those noodles are. If you don't know what they are. Um, of course, you know what a rotisserie chicken is. Now, this rotisserie chicken, I get mine from Food Line. That's where I get mine. In the deli. Well, they also have rotisserie chicken already pulled off the bone in a container. And depending on how much is in the container is how much it costs. I bought two. And they were both a dollar something each. Almost two dollars. Not 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 bad. But I didn't have to peel a chicken. So keep that in mind. Anyway, um so rotisserie chicken. So you boil your noodles. Get them tender. And then drain the water off of them. In another bowl, mix the can of cream of chicken soup with a cup of milk, salt and pepper to taste. Then add a cup of cheese, shredded cheese. Now, I use the mild cheddar and mild cheddar and Monterey, mild cheddar and Colby, whatever the, that, that one mixture is. That's what I did. And uh, you put that in the mixture of the soup and milk. And then you stir all that together. Put that on your noodles in, a, in your pot that you boiled your noodles in that since you drained it. Put that back in the pot and then add the noodles, or I mean, okay, your noodles will be in there. Then your mixture of soup and milk, salt and pepper, and your cheese. Now mix it on top of the noodles. Mix all that together. Then pour that into a baking dish. Now I used a small square one because I was making just a little portion. I didn't make the entire recipe. But these are the recipe if you want to make it, okay? The amount of noodles you use is how big it's going to end up being. Um, but for the rotisserie chicken, if you're going to make the normal size, I done two cups of noodles is what I did. And it made this bowl plus one more, and I ate some yesterday. So it's not very big. So you're going to want more noodles. If you're going to make a 9 by 13 dish or something like that. So if you want to make that size, use more noodles. And then, of course, you're going to want more rotisserie chicken. But if you're getting a rotisserie chicken that you've got to peel, you're going to use at least half of that. Let's put it that way. So... Now in your dish, you've got your noodles mixed in with your milk, your cream of chicken soup, your salt and pepper, and a cup of cheese. Spread that out, get it even. Top it with another layer of cheese, just on top. Don't mix it, just top it with the rest. So as much cheese as you're gonna need is what's gonna be on top of that. I can't really tell you how much that would be because you just gotta spread it out. Then. Put some of those chips in a bag, in like a Ziploc bag, and crush them so it makes like crumbs. Put that on top. Put it in the oven 
uncovered, 350, for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is. Because you got to remember, everything's already cooked. So you're just warming it, getting the cheese to melt. You don't want to cook it, cook it. So keep an eye on it. And then uh, just until your cheese melts. And you're probably not going to really be able to see it too much if you put a lot of potato chips on it. But you will see a little bit of it. And it's good to go. It's ready to eat. And I have to say, it's one of those dishes. There's that cheese. It's one of those dishes that it's good the next day. So, now that I've had it the next day, warmed it up. Now, your chips are not as crunchy. I will tell you that. Your chips are not as crunchy at all. But, it's something different. Something if you don't have it or never made it. It's good. It doesn't have any kind of spice in it, so there's no kick. You know. Just an easy little meal. But, pretty good. And it'll fill you up, because these noodles will fill you up. So... I brought a side salad to have with it so that to make sure I got full but also I've got to go after work if the, the weather holds out Luke has his first soccer game this week or today of the season so I have to go there right after work so I won't have time to eat supper before I go So I wanted to make sure I was, my lunch lasted, just in case. Did you have a good weekend? Do anything special? There's a piece of that rotisserie chicken. Oh, that's going to come through, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Look at that or rotisserie chicken. And today was the kids' first day back to school. So. It's officially a sophomore and a senior year. I took their picture it's just hard to believe how grown up they are now uh, I've been taking these pictures ever since I started school and it truly does go by fast but I hope all the kids have a good year Hope things are back to normal this year. Start to get back to normal. We can only hope. This is pretty tasty. Like I said, I'll definitely make it again. I'll do a video on it. Make it a little bit easier to follow along when you're watching somebody make it. <clears throat> I should have done one yesterday, but I hadn't tasted it yet. So, um, 
I don't want to give you a video on something that I've not ever had. Oh, that might not be no good. And we don't want that. I don't want to give you, tell you to make something and then it not being good. That won't ever happen. <laughs> not from me. We're back to 15 subscribers. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you'll stay. <laughs> oh, what happened? We were kind of chugging right along there for a little bit, and then all of a sudden they start dropping off, and it was like, what have I done? <laughs> but thank you for being here. Yeah, we, uh, the kids and I went through our closet and con marie decluttered our closet. So, Luke did not do a very good job. Luke's got more work to do. But I don't know how it is. You don't want to give something up. Well, then, what if you find something that goes with it? What if you sit there and go, I had that outfit. I don't have that outfit anymore. Or I can't make that outfit anymore. I gave that shirt away. I gave those jeans away. I gave those shorts away. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. It's hard. And especially now that... They're not growing as fast as they used to. So they're not growing out of clothes. So I don't have to buy new clothes every season now. That's been a while since I've had to do that. And so it's, it's a lot harder to give things up when you wore it just for a little bit. Or a few times. I know I kept things that I didn't necessarily wear last year because that was another thing I'd saw somewhere. It said put at, at the beginning of the year, January 1st, put all your clothes in your closet backwards that you would normally hang them. And at the end of the year, or come next January 1st, what clothes are hanging, or if they're still hanging backwards, it's time to donate them. Because now you've not worn those clothes in a year. And I thought about doing that, but guess what would have happened? Had I done that, all my sweaters that I'd went through, I didn't wear them last year. Why? Because it never got cold enough to, to wear them. I wore more huh, this summer than I did last winter. But it just didn't get cold enough for them. Not to have my jeans on with my boots and all that. It, it, it was just, too, it just never got cold enough last year. So I, that means I would have had to throw them away. Well, or not throw them away, but, you know, give them away. And there's nothing wrong with them. And I might wear them this 
and I mean, that's the thing. I will still wear them. It's just it's got to be cold enough. But, boy, that cooler weather we had, what, the beginning of August? Boy, it's gone. Mm. I walked outside this morning to leave to come here, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, it was just, ugh, so miserable. So, now that the kids are back in school, yeah, I'm one of those. Fall can hurry up now. Summer's over. <laughs> And I went to Hobby Lobby last week. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while. That may have been my first time this year. I don't know that I've been. I don't know. I don't remember it. Let's put it that way. It wasn't life changing. <laughs> but that was fun. Me and the kids went. And got some fall decorations. So that's kind of got me really in the fall mood. And I changed out my wallflower last week to toasted marshmallows. So it's a, that kind of makes you fallish kind of feel. So. But it's like when the kids go back to school, it just makes summer just like, okay, summer's over. It just stops everything, so. So now you're ready for some cooler weather and cooler, at least cooler mornings. You know, I don't like it. Don't get me wrong. I don't want 30 degree weather. That's not what I'm talking about. But at least some cooler temperatures in the morning. Get down to the 50s and 60s in the morning. That's fine. But this mess of it already being 75, ugh, at 7 o'clock in the morning, uh -uh. no, no. Not interested. So. But we, we did have a lot of fun last week and spending time together and these days are getting shorter and shorter. But have that quality time with them. So I'm trying to soak it in as much as I can. Last bite. <clears throat> now I have two empty bowls. Two empty bowls. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your Monday. Um, until I see you again. We'll eat again sometime. <laughs> Something else. All right. Take care, and I will see you probably tomorrow for Tamara's Lunchbox. Probably won't do a supper tonight, so it's going to be a busy week. But until I see you again, may the peace of the Lord be with you, and take care. <laughs>